Hey everybody, welcome back to Edgington, the city on the edge. So last time we had that trader right there start approaching the settlement, which he'll probably be fine, but anybody else comes this way has to go through, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven different skeletons. Hey. And then along the back here we have a bunch of spiders, and then over here there's like one lonely goblin who... Yeah, I think we can probably leave alone, at least for the time being. But uh, currently, we are in the midst of a food rush. We are trying to get as many people working on getting us food as we possibly can. Speaking of, our top fisherman, Aeneas, has to go back to being a trader as soon as that trader gets nearby. So that we can see if he has anything that is of value. They usually don't. But on occasion, they have something that might actually be useful. Hill. So, I am currently filming this a mere matter of hours after installing a new graphics card, uh, which turned up this morning. Thank you, Amazon. Ooh, watch the food go up. Loving it. I loaded the save at, like, 80, so that's doing well already. Um, it is a GTX 970, which is a couple of years younger than the 760 I was using before, that burst into flame, basically. And so far, it looks good. Um, we'll see in a month if it bursts again. But at least then it should be under warranty, ideally. But, uh, anyways, and yes, it is almost your moment here. So if I start heading back, that would be great. Ah, so yeah, we managed to finally get rid of all the skeletons from the preceding evening, and then about seven more turn up on the mainland. Utterly ridiculous, but not much I can do about it right now, although Penguin is nearly fully healed up, so Penguin might be able to go on rounds again fairly soonish, is our hope, anyways. At least this guy hasn't vanished after, like, entering the map figuring, nah, you know what, nah. I'm just turning around and leaving. Still got the skeleton down here, because people keep standing on it so that I can't get rid of it for the most part. But let's just get rid of that there. Sorry, Luna. Your kill in your seat is now uh, gone from the world. The archers are currently back on view, although I'm probably going to turn them back to fishermen as well. So, Sir Manfa. And Seth. There we go. That's a little extra bit more. 176, jeez, we've got up like 90 food in the time I've had this save loaded, which is like three minutes. So, wow. Willing to exchange free wheat seed, of which we have 64, in exchange for four raw stone. I'm gonna take it, because why not? And it'll hopefully, like, maybe, maybe Ineos will level up faster that way. I don't know. But. That's not a good trade. In fact, it, actually, no, that's more of a neutral trade, in that both things you're trading are junk, and you generally have a lot of them if you're doing anything right. But, oh well. So, let me see, I got it today, I installed it, which is a bit of a trial in and of itself, because it's about a third bigger than the 760 was, which is fairly tight inside of Elemental's case, so consequently, I had to reshuffle a few wires, and Elemental actually gets his name from the fact that he has a slight grounding issue. I think a washer is missing somewhere, but if you have the wires in, like, ever so slightly the wrong fashion, he will short out the instant you try to boot him. Um, which is safe, for the most part. He hasn't lost data to it yet, but you never know. Um, anything else, sir? No? Yes? Hello? Oh. Um, but yeah, that then, like, booted up, and then installed very slowly the drivers, and then restarted to make sure the drivers were all working properly from get-go, and we seem to be back! We seem to be back at full capacity. Hooray, hooray. Nope, he's just giving us one, one lackluster trade. Okay, fine, dude, fine. I'll just go back to, like, fishing then. Those skeletons are getting close to our borderline here. Oh, and Margaret has leveled up. Hooray! So... Hopefully Penguin is ready to deal with this. <laughs> Penguin, are you ready to deal with this? I think you will be. 
that much health with sufficient armor, which you should have because nobody else is wearing any armor right now. I think that's enough. Oh, we've passed 200. Hooray! I think I did the numbers a while back as to how much food we needed to make sure we get, uh, to make sure we have a surplus growing. And I think it was over 200. I'm not 100% certain, but we'll find out, I guess. So, could you switch to infantry, penguin? And let's put you on sleep based on fatigue. And we'll have you stand at guard positions for the moment, which will put you somewhere on the bridge, I believe. Very good. Very good. I'll just keep an eye on you, make sure you grab all your armor that you're going to need. I've just got a long line of, uh, long line of fishermen there. Looking nice. So, bronze plate helm, iron cuirass, and steel boots with a bronze glaive. If I had a steel glaive, that'd be even better, but alas, these things are not as yet within our capacity. Uh, and you are currently just idling? Walking, okay. To another section of the hall, okay, that's fine too, that's fine as well. Do I not have anywhere set up for... Infantry and, and archers? Infantry? No, I have places set up for you. Guarding point, okay. Where are you moving to then, penguin? Right there, that short one, okay. Am I hearing... I think I'm hearing that bonfire, that, that little campfire, which I'm guessing the last goblin set up. I'm reasonably expecting that we're going to have a necromancer visit sometime in the near future. But... How near, I don't know. I'm fairly certain it's gonna happen, though. We get so many skeletons. And speaking of, let's, uh, go to work, I guess. Now that Penguin's up. And fed. And armed. So, over here, please, Penguin. And I really should... But I, 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 in theory, I should get better at using um, adventurers for stuff like this, because you get much finer control over them, and they don't wander off to go and eat or sleep or whatever. But, yeah, you know. I don't know. This game was intended that as they, de as they further developed it, you'd have less and less control over the units. So, I don't know, it almost seems like cheating if you, uh, like, take too much advantage of adventurer where you assume direct control of your units. Come on. Where are you, where are you going? Tell me you're not going to eat or something. No, you're just walking, apparently, for some reason. Spot the skeleton. Attack the skeleton. Embrace the skeleton. Down in one. That's one less to worry about. There's another one just stood over here. I'm just trying to make sure she, like, circles him. Like, the range that she gets with that glaive is pretty amazing. But yes, good. That's two. Next closest one is here, I think. Where has that goblin gone? I'm not quite sure. And we will hopefully be able to get uh, through those spiders, no problem as well. I can see one just skittering along here. Here. Spiders, thankfully, aren't terribly dangerous, unless you get, like, stuck with them because you can't navigate around them, you can't walk through entities in this game. But, um, we should be fine. Okay, new skeleton. Right there, right behind that tree, which is less helpful. One more down, okay. How many left? Just three, I think. Those two are both stuck in the ground, so we don't actually need to worry about them in the slightest bit. Are you... Yeah, you're just wondering, okay. Over here then, please. Hunger is fine, fatigue is fine. Morale is slightly dipped, but I take good care of my troops, so... 
shouldn't be too big of an issue. Now, we actually probably want to be going over th this way so that we don't accidentally drag a pair of them, which, which gets more interesting, if I gotta say, for camera view, but, um... Less safe for poor Penguin. And considering I have literally just said that I take good care of my people, let's not do that. Okay, and conveniently, here comes the next one. And I think you've got good marks there, but I'll take that. Okay, one roaming skeleton left. And then we should be back to being safe, and we're already nearly... Just, we just dipped slightly under 240 there, food. So I think we have a decent, reasonable chance of getting ourselves some new migrants. Come on, one hit, that's all you need. There we go, okay. That is all of the skeletons gone. Now, goblins are a little bit more dynamic, but this particular one that is left over here isn't actually a, uh, isn't any kind of archer. I can see the moon coming up there. It's late afternoon. Okay. So we shouldn't have too much trouble. Archers give uh, Penguin a bit of a run for, run for their money just by the sheer virtue of their melee specialist. And... You can build a unit that can swap between, like, infantry and archer quickly, but it requires that they have, uh, I think, the strong back trait, which means that they can then carry more before they start slowing down. Um, but either way, it takes them a while to equip the stuff that they're carrying, so it's not the easiest of things. I wish you could make it so that they would use them independently, more in like, more intelligently. Um, that's, some of, that's something I've been working with on, like, the Yogg Dwarves for ages. I haven't touched in a, a long while, actually, come to think of it, but... Something I should look for. Is that some, that's some iron ore right there. And some tin. Oh. Huh. How convenient. Unfortunately, I can't get rid of that, so I'll just have to wait for it. And... I'm half expecting to just see... Something dreadful come over the horizon. What's that coming over the hill? Is it a mansa? Is it a mansa? Come on, spot him. Or be spotted, one of the two. Okay, you've spotted him. Good. He doesn't seem to have spotted you in the slightest. Stand corrected. Yes, he has. And down in one. Level up. Hooray. And I'm guessing you're heading back for food. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. You've done enough work today. Thank you. Um, okay, so that just leaves... We've got the two lonely skeletons, who shall never meet despite their proximity. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten spiders. Ugh. Spiders thankfully don't cause too much trouble. Their main problem is that they dig through blocks, so they can, in theory create openings for other monsters to come in, but since we are, like, in the middle of the sea, that is physically impossible. So we don't really need to worry about them too terribly much. They just also attack, like, um, passing traders and the like, so we need, to, we need to, like, take care of them eventually. But for the moment, we're good. Hooray! Alright. So, let me see. Uh, yeah, I installed the graphics card, I added the drivers, everything booted up, got it back onto two monitors at their proper resolutions again, stress tested with Minecraft using Optifine, stress tested with uh, XCOM 2 at full graphics settings again, so that looks good, and stress tested with, stress -tested with Dark Souls 3, which I could not play, period, before I installed the 760 originally. Um, I haven't booted up Overwatch yet, but that's the game I was playing when the last graphics card fried, so a little bit hesitant on that notion. Uh, but we should be good. I don't expect it's going to mess with my streams or anything now. Uh, but thank you very much to everybody that donated to get me that card. It is It has arrived in a much more rapid fashion than I was expecting, um, and the outpouring of support was monumental. I am 
continually amazed by the like support that I get from my community and whatnot. Um, special thanks, I believe, to Camera Axel, who, as near as I can tell, basically gave up the like gave up the opportunity to have their own gaming computer in the near future in favor of ensuring that I can keep doing this stuff. Uh, well, maybe not this stuff exactly, but stuff. Um, so yeah, I it baffles me when people are generous to that extreme with me honestly i i don't i don't have a very high level of self-worth <laughs> at least not in that regard uh, so it's just i'm a weird guy i'm a, I'm a little i'm a short weird guy of a three foot ponytail in england making videos on the internet and apparently that makes me that that makes me significant to people enough so yes thank you very much all okay we're hitting dusk which we're getting close to people going to bed soon. And you don't have a task currently. I'm going to put you at walk patrol route. And then you should be good. You're level 11. You've got decent hunger. If not about to be no hunger at all. We are nearing 300 food. Could this be... Yep, there we go. We have exceeded 300 food. I will do the math to try and work out how much food we need to get more settlers, which is why we're doing this big massive food drive. Edgington has basically had its own little fundraiser. Um, but we're doing the big food drive so we can get more settlers, so we can refill some of our positions, and we can get more people on devoted jobs rather than occasional jobs. Um, but I think we're gonna be good. 300 food and people are still fishing yet. It's not the end of the work day just yet. And Beatrix has just grabbed some more, so... Well, hey. There's gonna be a spider mage shark or something, isn't there? <laughs> Nothing ever goes quietly in Timber and Stone. There's always some problem that sneaks up on you. And I'm not really sure exactly what it is. Let's take a look at hose and fishing poles. Hose. We have one stone hoe. Let's add ten to the queue. We have two spare fishing poles because everybody's using them, but those are dirt cheap. It's wood logs and rope, which we can make from the vast abundance of flax that we have. Although, it is worth remembering that our uh, our tailor is currently a fisherman. Everybody, pretty much, is currently a fisherman. The only people who aren't fishermen is Beatrix, who is our herder, and the farmers, as well as our carpenter and our stonemason for making things like the arras and the tools that we might need. So, we are on full fishing duty. Oh, and, oops, speaking of, Ellie has leveled up. Hooray, thank you very much. Good to know, congratulations. Why am I saying thank you? I don't know. Hello! Oh, right, yeah, I was about to say hello, what's that? But that is, <laughs> that is in fact, Penguin on patrol. Uh, yes, people should be falling asleep soon enough. Uh, I think you have command of your own bed again, don't you, Penguin? Ownership, inventory miner. Yep, good. We could definitely use having some more infantry. Uh, infantry are relatively easy to train. Um, currently, uh, Penguin is entirely experience driven. But if we go into Structures Military Training Dummy, at the cost of a mere two rope and wooden logs, uh, we can make a training dummy, and they basically just walk straight up to it. There's no danger as there is with the archery target, and just wail on it for a bit until it breaks, and from that they level up. Obviously, they level up slower as time goes by, but it's kind of enough. It's enough to get them a fair few levels pretty quick, pretty early on, when you, for want of a better like explanation, don't want to send them out into the fields of death. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I think we'll be okay. Penguin at level 11 is past midway on max level there. Blip. So should be doing okay. Penguin's also a quick learner, actually, so they might actually benefit a little bit from having a, a, a training dummy. Let me put one in here. Let's just set one up in here, because obviously we don't have anybody doing anything. We, we don't have an engineer right now to do anything. I don't know which way is forward on this. Doesn't really tell me. But let's plunk one there. And for that, we're going to want to register some rope. Animal hair 69, 
Flax fiber, 592. I am amazed that we haven't, like, run over storage of that. Let's add 10 of that to our list. We do probably need to slaughter some boars to get a bit more animal hide to use as... Uh, to use as the material for making leather to make more tunics, because people don't have tunics all around. And that's going to be an increasing problem as our wealth goes up and such. People start to have issues. And people should be going to bed soon enough, I think. Yep. Looks like it. Let me turn designations off. There we go. So, with that, as Penguin marches on, I believe we're going to make out to some spiders. Yeah, there's one right ahead of you, basically. Ah, as Penguin marches on, to guard the knight. Penguin should be fine. Spiders, as writ, just go down in one hit, and Penguin can attack from greater than their melee range, so should be fine. Um, but yeah, with that, relatively quiet day of slaughtering skeletons, one by one, and I will get you all the next time.